The 2018 midterms saw Democrats taking control of the U.S. House of Representatives for the first time since 2010. And that included local districts that have long been Republican, like Democrat Sean Kasten's victory over six-term Republican incumbent Peter Roscom. I don't think that the, I don't think the values of the district changed as much as the Republican Party has changed. The, the you know, the, the fact that this district went for Hillary in 2016, but was really solidly Republican down the ballot, says to me that this district is not aligned with the values of Trump, but is aligned with the values of the Republican Party 20 years ago. And a Democrat Lauren Underwood defeated Republican incumbent Randy Holtgren for the 14th district. She's the first woman and first African American to represent the 14th. Well, I'm one of the women that marched in the Women's March and then decided to launch a campaign. Uh, Time Magazine called us Avengers. Um, you, others are referring to this as a pink wave, but what's very clear is that women have been mobilized in a very specific and concrete way to engage in our country. Democrats picked up a number of county seats as well, as John Desart and Sadia Covert defeated Republican incumbent Janice Anderson and Republican challenger Patty Gustin in the all-female race for District 5 of the DuPage County Board. I voted to uh, consolidate the election commission with the clerk's office, looking into consolidating the recorder's office with the uh, uh, clerk's office and seeing how much money we can save and seeing w what we can do uh, for the people with the money that we save. DuPage County District 3 saw Democrat Julie Renahan and Republican incumbent Greg Hart win the two open seats. And DuPage County has some newcomers in its offices. Democrat Gene Kaczmarek takes over as county clerk, and Republican James Mendrick will become the first new county sheriff in 20 years following John Zaruba's retirement. In a tight race, Democrat Ann Stava Murray defeated Republican incumbent David Olson by just 325 votes for Illinois' 81st congressional district. And in a race that's still too close to call, Republican incumbent Michael Connolly holds just a 12-vote lead over Democratic challenger Laura Elman in the race for the 21st Illinois Senate District, with mail-in ballots yet to be counted. Election officials have 14 days from the election to count those ballots and 21 days to certify the results. We have to wait till we canvass, meaning we certify the results to the State Board of Elections. And then uh, candidates uh, would have a, a week to file a petition calling for a uh, discovery uh, recount. Overall, voter turnout was significantly up for a midterm election. If we go back and look at the um, 2014 election, we would uh, find out that we had a turnout of 49%, uh, while uh, uh, on Tuesday night, the turnout was at 55.57%, so there is an increase. And with an increase in registered voters, that means there were over 67,000 more DuPage County votes cast in 2018 than in 2014. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Blaine Irwin.